So how do we look after ourselves? We need to nurture ourselves. So we need to respect our immune systems, respect our bodies, all 13 body systems, and we have to go, do you know what? Today I'm tired. I don't have to do the 100 things on my to-do list. I'm listening to my body. Tired, weary, frustrated? What would you be doing if you weren't raising children alone? What's stopping you from living your best life now? On Solo Mom's Talk, I discuss with solo mothers the challenges you face raising children alone. So if you're a working solo mom dealing with independent children, insensitive bosses, weight and health issues, or even debt collectors, join us as we discover your path to get and stay healthy, increase your income, and live with joy and purpose. In this battle Yesterday is Magic Barclay, an innate immunity and functional health solutions pr- practitioner. Welcome, Magic. Thanks for having me. Here I am. <laughs> okay. All right. Usually what I do, I like to get a feel for who you are as an individual. So tell us about Magic Barclay. Magic Barclay is a practitioner of natural health, a podcast host, but most importantly, a mum of two and also two fur babies. So it doesn't define me, but it certainly uh, drives me every single day. Okay. All right. Thank you for sharing that. And are you interviewing from Australia? Yes, I'm in uh, Victoria, Australia, so down towards the bottom of Australia. And I'm just outside okay. Melbourne, about an hour outside Melbourne. All right. So thank you for joining us from so far away. I know it's um, oh, it's probably early morning for you, right? 9 a.m. So it's not too bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. All right. So um, why holistic health? Why, why the interest? I guess it's come from my own health journey. So I was told I had multiple conditions that were terminal. And that wasn't an option. Um, as a single mum, it's not an option to get sick and leave your babies behind. Well, to me, it's not. Mm-hmm. So I did everything I could to turn that around. Uh, what I learned, I then put into practice. So I now help other people. And holistic with a W because I treat the whole body. So the body is a whole being. You can't treat in isolation. I don't treat symptoms. I treat root cause. Okay. All right. Makes sense. Make absolute sense. And before I go on, I always want to ask again, how did you become a solo mom? Well, <laughs> divorce, <laughs> I guess. Um, I married someone that wasn't right for me. It kind of was both our fault. I think it was a lot more his fault, but, you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, But I had been a solo mum through the marriage anyway. Well, I felt like that. And, you know, I just thought this is not serving us and it's certainly not serving the kids. Um, The kids were Mm. very unhappy, very traumatised by what was going on between me and my ex. And I'd been through that as a child. So I went, "Mm, not today, not on my watch. It's better to be a solo mum than an unhappy or dare I say it, a dead mum, because that's where it was heading. Um, mm-hmm. Either he was going to wipe me out or I was going to wipe me out because of him. So, you know, the kids have flourished and we have a very democratic household. We all make the decisions together and that's something I taught them early on, that just because I'm the mum doesn't mean, you know, I'm the law enforcer, the law maker. We all have to have a say so that we all abide and and uh, treat each other with respect. So that's my solo mum journey. They're now 20 and 22. They're still living with me. Um, They probably will be until they marry and move (laughs) out. But, you know, maybe not even then. Who knows? There's no rush because not only am I their mum, I guess, and their dad, but I'm also their friend. Yeah, 
All right. Thank you for sharing. I always like to know that. And um, teamwork like, uh, makes the dream work, they say. So that's... Um, they say. You know, involving <laughs> them in the decision making. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So so tell us what your biggest struggle struggle had has been as a solo mom. Maybe it was the struggle even carried on from married, seen as, you know... It wasn't really a, a wholesome mar- marriage, right? But tell us what your biggest struggle was on your own. The biggest struggle was I didn't know how to do anything. I'm going to sound really sexist here, but anything male. Like I didn't know how to fix anything. I didn't know how to build anything. Um, and neither did my kids. Like I said, when we were still in the marriage, um, we weren't a family unit and he didn't really interact with the kids. And so they never learnt that stuff. Now I've got two boys who, you know, till recently mm-hmm. neither of them knew how to use a screwdriver. So, you know, to me I'm a bit old-fashioned. It's like, well, Dad has to teach you that stuff. And that didn't happen. So, you know, trying to fill the gaps there of what I didn't know, also what the kids didn't know was pretty tough. Also them not having a male role model, a male influence, you know, I can tell them my perspective as a woman, but they don't have that masculine influence. So that was pretty tough. So I had to learn that, you know, I would have to find trusted male friends that could be that influence, yes. could be that shoulder for them to lean on. And, you know, sometimes you don't want to tell your mum stuff that's happening. You just don't when you're a teenage boy, you know, no matter okay. who. Mummy isn't how cool she is or how cool she thinks she is, they tell me. Um, You know, you need a guy around to talk to. So that was pretty tough. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, I raised three boys, so I know. Um, (laughs) And, uh, yeah, we we keep telling ourselves that we're mum and dad, but we're definitely not mum and dad. We're we're a great job, you know, yeah, see that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you for sharing the personal story. I appreciate it. So, okay. So I asked you before what got you into holistic health, natural health. What have you overcome that, you know, you can help someone with? Um, so you, you're you practicing holistic help. I'm, I'm sure you tried it on yourself first. Um, oh yeah, and now you're you're help now you're helping others. So what did you overcome? Is that something you can share with us? Yeah. So look, the first thing was finding the root cause. Why did I get sick? Why did all these labels or diagnosis keep getting laid on me? And they were all vastly different. If you look up all the different things that they diagnosed me with, there seems to be no connection, but there actually is. And that was that most of it was autoimmune. So autoimmune based, mm-hmm. which means there's an immune response. Now, what I had to learn was which immune type was I? Why was I in that immune type? Why was I stuck there? And so that's something that I've learned and I work with my clients. I identify their immune type and I identify what is the response that the body's telling us. So where's that root cause? And sometimes it's not immune. Well, it's not immediately immune. So that led me to learning about the PNEI of trauma. Now, as I said, I came from a broken Mm. family. And, you know, early on there was a lot of trauma. So what I learned Mm. through PNEI was that's the psychoneuroendoimmunology of trauma. So the things that we're thinking, the things that we're feeling, now the limbic responses from our brain, which are the emotional responses to something that's happened, something that we deem a threat, that then has an effect. So that then flows onto your nervous system, so the neural pathways. And this is where people with trauma can get random pain, fibromyalgia, you know, something that could be like a bit of brain fog. There'll be something that's a neural pathway that is relaying the message of being unhappy. It doesn't stop there. Then it goes to the endocrine system. So this is a good example of this one is someone that needs to do some public speaking. They tell themselves they ha- hate public speaking, right? Then they get this nervous response and they start 
getting all hot or shaky or, you know, just jumpy, agitated. And then they have an endocrine response and they get the sweats. They're about to walk in front of that microphone and all of a sudden they're sweating, they're burning out. That's an endocrine response. They might get dizzy. It doesn't stop there. Yeah. It then flows on to the immune system. So the immune system's job is to look for something that's a danger. And normally it looks for a pathogen, be it a fungus, a bacteria, or a viral cell. And so it seeks these things out because they're a danger to the body. But when we're under stress from our mm. thoughts, from our nerves conducting mismessages, or from the endocrine system going crazy, the immune system then goes, wow, life is threatened here. So I am going to create a response. And this is all happening, be it that you're scared of walking on stage talking to someone or a childhood trauma. There's no distinguishable, distinguishable um, markers there. So the body will go, no matter what it is, it's danger. So I learned about that and I applied that to myself and I looked back at you know, my past, and they say you can blame your past for a lot of what's happening now. Well, that's really true. <laughs> and so I mm -hmm. looked at what happened when I was three and went, does that correlate to me having cancer? And it did because I learned when I was three, keep my mouth shut. Don't Hello, solo moms. Do you feel isolated and alone in your parenting journey? Are you tired of facing the challenges of solo parenting by yourself? If so then I have the perfect solution for you. Join Solo Moms Connect, the ultimate support group for moms raising children on their own. As a solo mom of three adult sons, I want to provide a safe and welcoming space where you can connect with other moms, share your experience, and find, and find answers to your questions. So don't go it alone. Be part of a thriving community of solo moms. Join Solo Moms Connect today and get the support and guidance you need to succeed as a solo parent. Join us today and be a part of a community of strong and resilient solo moms. Solo Moms Connect, building stronger communities one mom at a time. So don't wait, click the link below and join us today. Talk back, don't say what you're feeling, suppress yourself. And you know what, 37 years after that, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. And so thyroid cancer is in energetic fields and spiritual fields, it's the throat chakra and it's you holding your voice back. So, you know, through mm -hmm. all the science, I know what was going on, but through all the spirituality, I also knew what was going on. So they're just two areas that I work with. And the third, I guess, is mould. So we lived in a mouldy house for a couple of years. We were constantly sick. I put a heap of weight back on, uh, you know, and the boys had sniffles pretty much all the time, scratchy, mm -hmm. irritable eyes, uh, white spots on our skin that looked like sunspots, but we hadn't been in the sun. And so I learned about mould. Now, mould mm. is the greatest survivor. I say to people, you know, once the nukes are all dropped, we, we always joke that the other thing alive will be cockroaches. Well, no, it's cockroaches and mould. Mould. So mould is oh, used. Boy. Yeah, it's crazy. Mould is used in medicine because it survives, but it also is used in warfare because it survives. And so what it does is no matter what immune type you are, mould suppresses the immune system. It completely shuts it down so it can survive. So I learned all about that, and now that's what I help my clients with. So all those areas, I know it's a lot to do, but they're all interconnected, mm -hmm. and I just love what I do. Wow, yeah, I can hear that. And good that you discovered the source, and you said a lot, but I'm getting that our thoughts and our experiences, if we, if we hold them in, can affect negatively affect our immune system, which in turn can either do or not do its job and make us sick. Am I did I did I do that right? One hundred percent. You got it. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. 
So how can we better protect our immune system? And you may have alluded already to the solution, but, but um, expand on that for us. Especially, and bear in mind, especially for solo moms who are highly stressed and a lot of times we don't take care of, we don't take care of the hurt. And so that's something I'd like you to address. Sure. Well, sorry, I just got a frog in my throat then. How we protect ourselves as mums is really important. First thing is we need to learn not to take on other people's stuff, okay? So other people's thoughts about us being a mum doesn't matter. What our kids think okay. about us being a mum also doesn't matter. They're our kids. We have to remember that. We're doing our right. job as best as we know it. That's what matters. So how you get up every day, how you show up for yourself is the most important thing as a mum. Not listening to all the stuff around you. Not listening to your kids. You know, we know kids are going to lash out. At some point, someone's going to turn around and go, I hate you, mum. That's not your problem. You don't have to be yeah. your best friend. You have to guide them, but you have to know that you're doing the best you can. And as long as you're doing that, that's going to put you 10 steps ahead of the game. So how we look after ourselves, we need to nurture ourselves. So we need to respect our immune systems, respect our bodies, all 13 body systems. And we have to go, do you know what? Today I'm tired. I don't have to do the 100 things on my to-do list. I'm listening to my body. It means I need to rest. So yes. the things that are critically important that day, so obviously maybe it's cook a meal, it's get the kids to school, it's, you know, clean up after the dog. Whatever has to happen that day, that's what you know. All the other things, the vacuuming, the ironing, the washing, the running around from, you know, here to 10 different places to pick something up, that can wait. If you're tired, yes, you're tired. Yes. That is your body saying, stop. So there's the first thing. Yeah. Yeah. The second thing is respect yourself. So, you know, don't beat yourself up about the things you could have done, should have done, could have done better. You did them or you didn't. It doesn't yeah. matter. You know, it's not all life-threatening unless it is life-threatening. But, you know, don't try and be everything for everyone. Just be something for you because you're actually role-modelling the best thing you can teach your kids. And that is you yes. respect yourself because don't you want them to respect themselves? Yeah. And I guess yeah. that leads me to another thing, right, and that is mm -hmm. self-care. So I've said respect you, yeah. listen to your body, take a rest, but put yourself first. You have to. So when I was mm. raising my boys when they were young, like, for example, we'd get on a plane to go somewhere and the – you know, the, the safety thing would come on about the oxygen mask coming down and you've got to put yours on for mm -hmm. all the kids. And I was this selfless martyr of a mum. No way was I going <laughs> to not put my kids' oxygen masks on first. And it took me many yeah. years to realise, if I don't have oxygen, how am I going to help them? So really mm -hmm. look after you, fill your own cup. If that means that you need to close your bedroom door, and have a cry, get some emotions out, or hit something like a cushion or something, or just go, listen, kids, mm -hmm. there's the TV, there's the PlayStation, I'll be back in 10, I'm going for a walk. Do not open the door, do not answer the phone, play PlayStation. Like, do that, because you have to look after you, right? You have to put your oxygen mask on first. Stay hydrated, eat well. I know that sounds boring, we've heard it a million times. But you have to because yeah. you don't want to be where I was, you know, at 40, 42, I guess it was, going, wow, now I've got a terminal condition because I didn't look after myself. So yeah. don't get yourself yeah. to the edge of the cliff before you go, it's too late to turn back. Right. Yeah, thank you. Um, wise advice. Um, from one solo mom to the rest of us. Thank you. <laughs> so what what is Magic Grateful for today? Today, 
Hmm. Magic is grateful for a kitten. I have a kitten in my home. I recently lost my big cat of 17 years and uh, I thought my life was over. Like, he was my son. Yeah, I'd had him almost as long as I had my (laughs) real kids. So, you know, I thought it was all over. So today I'm grateful for a kitten that's keeping me young and uh, keeping my Uh, bones, scratching up every part of my arms or legs. (laughs) All right. Okay. Thanks for sharing. Love that. Yeah. All right. And um, how how can we... I love your name, by the way. And I love how you kind of spin it yeah I love how you you spin it to to help others so how can we as solo moms live a magical and healthful life okay so first thing well we've already covered it respect yourself treat yourself the way you want your kids to treat themselves okay Mm -hmm. second of all is cut out people that just don't serve you it's okay to be selfish. If you have those friends and family that just want something from you all the time and, you know, you're having a bad day and you feel like you can't let them know because that might bring them down, guess what? They're toxic people, even if they're your family. So have yourself surrounded by people that serve you. That's okay. I guess the next thing to live your magical life would be Listen to what is going on around you. Take it in, but don't take it on. So you can listen. You can go, yes or no, I don't agree with that. I do agree with that. But, you know, it's around you. It's not you. Yeah. And that's really, really important, especially in modern times. And I guess my final thing would be listen to nature. So... Get out there, get some sunshine, have some water, um, and really listen to what is going on in nature. We deem everything a danger these days as humans. You know, I've got my my fluorescent lighting, I've got my camera, I'm getting radiated by my computer. But that's not what life is about. Life is about the fact that the sun's struggling to get through the clouds outside here. But it's still a beautiful day. I can go out there and listen to the birds. I can, while I live in Australia, I can, you know, go a couple of kilometres from my home and see some kangaroos. You know, that is nature. That is what it's all about. (laughs) It is awesome, yeah. But that's what it's all about. So no matter where you are, get out in nature and really see where it's at. We as humans put so much emphasis on the things that we should be doing, the conveniences that we have at our fingertips, you know, the technology. And don't get me wrong, I podcast, I love technology, but that's (laughs) not where it's at. Where it's at is after this I can go outside and go for a walk, watch the birds, see the beautiful colours, look at the trees, smell some flowers, That's where it's at. Really ground yourself back in nature because as humans, we are only one species. So there's a big difference between eco and ego. Do we live in ego that we are the be-all and end-all of life? Is that what we want to teach our kids? Or do we want to live in eco that we are part of an ecosystem and so are our kids and that they need to go and respect nature and in turn, get healed. So when you walk through the forest, it's called forest bathing, and you're breathing in essential oils from the trees and that's helping you heal. When we walk barefoot in the dirt, that's grounding. We're soaking up minerals through our feet. We need to teach our kids this so that they can become eco rather than ego. Yeah. Oh, lovely. I love that. That's just amazing. And how could we get in touch with you? Okay, so people can find me at www.holistic, that's with a W in front of it, naturalhealth.com.au. So holisticnaturalhealth.com.au. I'm on Facebook at Holistic Natural Health Australia, again with a W in front of Holistic, and on Instagram, Mm -hmm. Holistic Natural Health. 
Okay, sure. And I'll, I'll put those links in the show notes as well. And before I let you go, tell us exactly how you help your clients. Well, how I help my clients is I send them a 17-page intake form. And once they get over the fact that it's 17 pages, I go through <laughs> it and we do, I know that's crazy. And we do a call called a root cause analysis. I find a root cause of what it is they need to heal. I also do coaching and counselling. And so then we do consultations. I work remotely, so I work worldwide. And through those consultations, I teach my clients how to heal, how to listen to their bodies, how to fix the root cause of pretty much any problem that you can think of, and really stop chasing symptoms, but treat the systems of the body. So I do all of that, as I said, worldwide. So feel free to get in touch, um, book your root cause analysis call. That's all complimentary. And, you know, if we work together, obviously we can sort out a package tailored for you. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Magic Barkley. Thank you for coming and sharing your magic with us today. I really appreciate you. Thanks for having me. It's been great. Hello, Solar Moms. Do you feel isolated and alone in your parenting journey? Are you tired of facing the challenges of solo parenting by yourself? If so, then I have the perfect solution for you. Join Solar Moms Connect, the ultimate support group for moms raising children on their own. As a solo mom of three adult sons, I want to provide a safe and welcoming space where you can connect with other moms, share your experience, and find and find answers to your questions. So don't go it alone. Be part of a thriving community of solo moms. Join Solo Moms Connect today and get the support and guidance you need to succeed as a solo parent. Join us today and be a part of a community of strong and resilient solo moms. Solo Moms Connect, building stronger communities, one mom at a time. So don't wait, click the link below and join us today. Mm-hmm.